How's it going everyone? This is Javita here coming at you with something a little bit different. Mobius asked me to go over his aptly named Mobius Plaza. Uh, just a quick side note, his name is technically The Dash Mobius. Anyway, I figured this would be a great opportunity to break away from some of my hermit-like tendencies and get out and stretch my legs. So, first things first, how the heck do you get to this place? Well, for starters, it's on Thurka, which is the European starter world. If you're on any of the other starter worlds, you first want to navigate to your world's capital. So, right now I'm on Vena 5, and this is Vena 5's capital. Once you have under core and skills, once you have both the compass and the scanner skill, you'll be able to see all these lovely icons up at the compass. So to find your capital, simply look for the yellow icon that's at the center right now. If you're a long distance away from it, it will look smaller to the point that it might just be a yellow dot, but you should at least be able to see it. Travel there, and if you're on Vena 5, this is what the capital looks like. And then right over there is Jeff's portal hub. So let me jump over there right quick. Okay, so I was right over on that hill. Right here is the portal to Alternic, which is the ring world of the Australian servers. Uh, Jeff's portal hub is kind of like a subway system. It has stops on each planet. So just basically keep going straight. This is now the ring world of the US West servers, Nashville. And then right over here is the US West uh, home world. So if you're on Berlin, this is the capital of Berlin, uh, aptly named New Berlin. <laughs> and so it'll be the same sort of deal. You can't see the yellow icon right now because I'm already inside of the capital. But this is kind of what you're looking for. Big giant ice statue, this fancy looking building with the three portals. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, these purple icons on the compass are labeling the portals for you. So from Berlin, you're going to go to the Toxic Oasis. If you're on Vena 5, you'd be just going straight to Volto. And now this is the ring world for the US East servers. And over here is the capital for Solom which is Pixelgate, so same sort of deal. You're going to navigate to the yellow icon. Here's the building with uh, two <laughs> giant yellow rubber duckies, or at least that's what they remind me of. I guess they could just be ducks, but... And then right over here is Jeff's Portal Hub. So going back to Volto. Here, we're going to go to Muntean Paradise, which is the ring world for the European servers. And then right here is the Mobius Plaza. Uh, this is actually in Thurka Market, which is the capital of Thurka. So if you're already on Thurka, you would again just simply find the yellow icon, navigate to Thurka Market, and yes, that'll give you the coordinates. <laughs> So the current location is negative 1,941 north by positive 1,423 east. Uh, altitude 89, but you shouldn't have to really worry about that. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Mobius Plaza. It's pretty hard to miss if you get anywhere close to it. Here's some uh, kind of really tall landmarks. Got this fancy almost water tower lookout thing with the Boundless logo on it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, over here, got this ginormous red kind of skyscraper looking thing. Okay, so if you haven't already surmised, the Mobius Plaza is, well, a portal plaza, or portal hub, I guess to be more accurate. It's got a crazy number of portals connecting a crazy number of really awesome locations. This plaza actually focuses more on connecting interesting places and towns. 
as opposed to just simply connecting all of the planets. If you're trying to get to other planets, there of course is the transfer station right here. This is Jeff's transfer station. That's uh, what we used to get here initially. Also, you can come over here. This big huge hub sign is kind of pointing off to this portal. This is the fire caverns. Yes, fire caverns. Here there is a direct portal to almost every planet. Uh, about the only one that I found that seems to be missing is a direct link to Vena 5. And it's quite possible that I'm simply overlooking it. Uh, because there is a crazy number of portals here connecting another crazy set of really cool locations. Uh, not only is there portals to just about every planet, but there's generally multiples for each planet as well. So, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so starting off, it seems pertinent to go over the immediate facilities in the hub itself. There is a player shop over here that sells a pretty decent assortment of goods, ranging from blocks, iron, and copper tools, and even some shop stands to buy some of your goods if you need a little extra coin. There's also a very large bulletin board over here, so far as displaying information on the great hunts can even interact with the sign to see a little bit of extra time zone information. Over here, if you want to get an aerial view, you can go through this portal right here. Just kind of drop down, get an aerial view of Thurka, and then right here you can drop back down. Quick side note, this area over here labeled portals is actually run by a different player and really only has three active portals at the moment. And for your mega shop needs, there is Omni's shop right here in Muntean Paradise. He sells and buys pretty much everything. <laughs> If you like the Mobius Plaza and would like to help support it, there are some donation baskets right here for shards. If I'm not mistaken, uh, yes, they actually will buy shards from you. It's only five coins, so you could probably make more coins somewhere else. However, as you see on the sign, you get good karma. Most of these individual portals are not maintained by Mobius himself. However, some of these larger portals that are much more expensive to run are run by him. So getting down to business over here, we have Havoc's hub. <laughs> these chain bridges are awesome. <laughs> this again leads back to Havoc's settlement on Berlin which is New Berlin, and I have to say I was quite blown away when I saw this. I had no clue this was even here. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty crazy. This is, I guess, is the Luminorti Manufacturer. Just kind of this crazy, like, steampunk cathedral is what it puts me in mind of. And I gotta say I really like this style for the, the portal frame decoration type things. Pretty cool. So over here we have Open for Business. This is a small shop on Scepterfawn selling uh, some odds and ends. And it's a pretty cool build. That is located at the late Boundless logo. So as you can see, all the portals are labeled, so they give you a pretty good idea of what they're supposed to be as far as towns or shops. As you can see here, there are spots for portals that are yet to be taken. There's one right here, another one up here. So if you wanted a portal going directly to this crazy hub, all you have to do is contact Mobius and he can set you up with a, sh with a portal. And from my understanding is he'll give you the portal token, which you can then use to build a portal at your base and open it up from your end. So I guess just to keep in order, let's take a look at Loch Lomond, <laughs> a hamlet in Thurka. So as you can see here, it leans straight to more portals and got some pretty interesting build going on over here. Pretty cool interior. Ah, I've actually been here before a long time ago. Let's see here, got some, oh, some stuff down here as well. Oh, wow, something uh, kind of floating up in the air. That looks pretty interesting. Got a shop over here. It's kind of cool little uh, lake villa. Got some nice chisel detail on it. Cool, cool. 
See, I'm gonna have to struggle a little bit to stay on topic here, because uh, honestly, you could spend <laughs> hours going through each one of these portals and exploring it, so... Next up we got Forgotten Civilization. We got Road to Settlement Center. So we got some pretty amazing looking kind of like sci-fi builds over here. These are like crazy to say the least. <laughs> like it's kind of citadel tower looking things. Pretty awesome. Uh, kind of looks like, oh, okay, we got like a was a ATST or Mech Warrior. Uh, some sort of kind of puts me in mind of guns. I just can't help myself. I gotta get in the cockpit. <laughs> nice. Next up we have what at least looks like as Hara to me. Uh, not quite sure what to do with that you, but <laughs> let's take a look. Oh, that is a nice little quaint village. So yeah, this is a hamlet. Got a cool lion over there in the distance. Got some nice shops here. Oh, I love these uh, lanterns. Got the decorative blocks with some wood on the sides. Fire pits, gleam lantern. Very nice. <laughs> it's kind of cool, uh, top heavy kind of house. It's pretty awesome. A lot of chisel detail here going on. Oh, this is nice. Looks like maybe it's not quite finished, but, uh, whoo. Got some interesting... Let's see here, where's the way? Here we go. <laughs> that green, uh, twisted wood looked a little trippy at first. Very nice. Actually looks pretty cool. Oh, nice, it's, a uh, okay. A little fancy entryway here going on. Nice, nice. Nice little island decoration going on over there. Oh, here we go. And this is um, what the, the Lost Civilization. Cool, cool. Okay, returning to Mobius Plaza. <laughs> Septenari Bay? Hamlet in Scepterfawn. Ooh. I have uh, not done very much exploring at all on Scepter Fawn. Yeah, I think I have been in this particular build before, and this is kind of a epic tower maze. <laughs> it's been basically my interpretation of it. That's pretty interesting. Got this kind of power core nexus thing going on here. I like it. So we just did the Septenari Bay come up here and we have another location in Hazhara. If I remember correctly this is kind of actually a fair distance away from the other Azhara portal and it's kind of I guess where they're going to expand because that's mostly this nice road through this very beautiful Thurka forest. Ooh, Ice City Outpost in Thurka. I'm not sure I've seen this one. Staying true to the name, lots and lots of ice. Wow, let's see, let's put this torch away. It's very, very chilly. <laughs> oh, there's that uh, floating island again. Wow, that looks pretty darn cool. Uruk Dwelling Outpost in Thurka. <laughs> nice. Got a huge skyscraper tower. Whoa, okay. We are... <laughs> nice. It's a cool little glacier settlement over there. Got an expansive view of the surrounding area. Ah, this is really tall. I mean, we're already way up here and it goes even that much higher so that's pretty crazy wow <laughs> what a view oh man so you got something fairly major going on over there fairy's house oh wow <laughs> nice got some pixel art going on kind of uh i don't know if that's supposed to be a wolf's head or what maybe a goat Goathead. 
something. Very nice. Okay, so that sums it up for that row. Got a Thurka Stadium, find the secret stadium garden. I'm not going to uh, ruin the surprise of the gardens. It's pretty interesting if you want to take the time to find it. <laughs> I didn't even realize there was different colors of ice until uh, I came here. It's kind of like a skating rink or something. Over here we have a portal to Voxel Plaza. This is the chisel contest hosted by Cook Viper that took place not that long ago. Got some absolutely amazing builds, crazy amount of talent going on here. Absolutely amazing. And here's the official access to Car Kindus Hub from the plaza. So you got another crazy assortment of portals here, as well as maybe the fastest access to Pixelgate if you happen to live on Solum, to the magnificent Fort Temple. And over here, from what my understanding, these are some kind of uh, personal portals. There's also this pretty cool water elevator thing right here. This leads to some pretty amazing builds, kind of like a little quaint, uh, well, quaint uh, Supreme Paradise is its name, and it, architecture pretty much lives up to it. It's kind of a little mini portal hub area. Here's an amazing floating build. Pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> and over here is a quaint, kind of unassuming town with some pretty interesting stuff. Got a nice down-to-earth feel, some nice houses. Pretty cool little church. It even has kind of a labyrinth slash maze over here. What I love most about this town is it has kind of this unspoken, well, not really unspoken, it's got this kind of hidden story to it that I won't ruin anything, but uh, yeah, not all the graves are necessarily filled. Really shows off uh, what can be accomplished with the new signs. Quite impressed. So moving on to this section, this is again for both personal portals as well as hubs, shops, and all sorts of goodness. There are a few portals kind of hiding behind these main ones along with uh, lots of free portal slots right here. If you wanted to uh, connect to this plaza but didn't necessarily want a whole bunch of people flooding into your area, that would be a pretty good spot. So here is Aquatopia. This is Mobius's brand new city, and as you can see, it's pretty darn impressive. I'll be doing a whole separate video on th just this place alone, so I think I'll save the rest of it for that video, but very impressive area. Here we got the Muntean Air Dock, kind of an airship build on Muntean 7. Pretty awesome. Good for getting an aerial view of the area. Here we go, we got the Skimmer. If you weren't quite satisfied with the aerial view from the Mobius Plaza, here is an alternative. <laughs> it's 
pretty impressive both in just the build itself and the view Here's a Doomsday Shop, and this is actually part of the Chisel Knight's headquarters. There's some pretty awesome stuff going on here as well, so <laughs> they live up to their name. Of course, part of uh, Karo Kindu's hub. Got this uh, awesome kind of sky bridge going on, and <laughs> this amazing thing. Not quite sure if this is a work in progress or if that's completed. It looks like maybe it's a work in progress. Next up, we got the Shrine of Orts. Looks like it's trying to be another portal hub. Got some pretty interesting stuff going on here. Looks like we're deep underground somewhere. This is where's this exactly? Uh, oh, Muntine Seven. <laughs> yeah, got some lava walls going on over here. Some additional portals. I believe this goes to the fire caverns. Yep. <laughs> so again, big huge circle. Here is Omni Shop on Muntine 7 and Muntine Paradise. This is pretty much the biggest shop that I know of. There are several other kind of competitors that uh, seem to do a decent enough job, but as far as just <laughs> raw real estate and uh, massive inventory, pretty impressive stuff. I got the, the Kinsday Homestead here. Got some nice, uh, ooh, Chisel Knight Headquarters. Oh, here we go. So yeah, this is back at the quaint little town with some secrets. So over here we have the home initiative. I'm not completely versed on this, however, then from my understanding, the intent is to build new homes for new players that they are free to come and claim. There is a post on the Boundless Forms. I'll probably throw a link in the description. This is going to be a shop at some point once they get enough stock. And it looks like they have at least two ready-made player homes. The water should naturally keep all the critters away from you, so you wouldn't have to worry about spitters or anything. So, pretty nice little starting area. Okay, it looks like uh, got over everything except for the transfer station, which actually we kind of already done the transfer station. Basically how the transfer station works is it connects all of the planets in a line. So each ring world will have a portal going to the home world and then the next ring world. So here's the home world of Thurka. And then from here, you can keep going straight to uh, Scepterfon, which is the moon for the European server group. Over here we have Valpto leading to Solom. From Solom we can get to Epsilo. From uh, Valpto goes over to Nashville and then Berlin. And from Berlin you can get to Eloportis or Elopor. This is actually the capital of Elopor, which is quite impressive in its own right. And finally over to Alternic, which is the Australian ring world. Going straight into Vena 5 in its capital. And then off here to the side, we have the moon Adoim, which, in my humble opinion, has one of the prettiest atmospheres. So, as you can see, you could just about run in a straight line and literally travel across the boundless universe. I believe if you go straight east from the transfer station, you should run into the Mobius Plaza. Yep, I can already see the sign right over there. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Mobius Plaza. 
I have to say I had a lot of fun not only making this video, but exploring all the locations. I probably spent at least 8 hours exploring the locations, plus another hour of filming, and yeah, just amazing. I, I didn't know half of this stuff was even out here, so <laughs> pretty, pretty cool experience. Anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Until next time, peace.